And uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank the organizers uh, for uh, inviting me uh, to uh, this uh, so special uh, meeting and uh, congratulations uh, to the two uh, speakers for uh, their excellent uh, uh, presentations. Uh, I am uh, very um, honored and uh, pleased uh, to uh, serve uh, as a discussant uh, at uh, the first uh, ERSA uh, lecture at uh, DG Radio in uh, 2015. Uh, this is an uh, inspired uh, initiative um, of uh, strengthening uh, the relationships uh, between uh, uh, ERSA and uh, DG Radio, uh, and uh, a big uh, impulse uh, was uh, given uh, this uh, summer in uh, August uh, by the uh, organization at uh, the ERSA Congress in uh, Lisbon of a plenary uh, session uh, held uh, at the European uh, at the Portuguese uh, Parliament. Uh, with uh, the participation of the European uh, Commissioner for uh, Regional Policy, uh, Mrs. Uh, Corina Crezu, of uh, top uh, representatives of um, uh, regional policy making uh, in uh, Portugal, uh, including the uh, regional uh, development uh, uh, minister, Ms. Uh, um, uh, Manuel Maduro, and the top representatives uh, of um, uh, the um, regional science uh, international uh, community, uh, professors uh, Andres Rodriguez Pose, um, Roberta Capello, and uh, Philip uh, McCann. And uh, here I would like uh, to, to greet the presence of uh, uh, Mrs. Um, uh, Maristela Angotti, who uh, is uh, um, the program manager at uh, the ERSA. Uh, office uh, in uh, Leuven. So thank you, uh, Maristela, for uh, coming and uh, supporting uh, us. Uh, coming back uh, to uh, today's uh, presentations, uh, I have uh, remarked uh, the richness uh, and uh, the um, variety of uh, ideas uh, in uh, each uh, presentation, and uh, in many cases, the complementarities uh, between uh, uh, the um, viewpoints uh, uh, expressed. Uh, and uh, all of these uh, reflect uh, a complex uh, approach of uh, the cohesion um, uh, policy uh, issues. Uh, uh, many of these uh, ideas um, uh, actually uh, open, uh, anticipate uh, hot uh, debates uh, around the ex post um, uh, cohesion policy. Uh, uh, Post, ex post evaluation of cohesion policy for 2007-2014 uh, 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 and uh, even more uh, they offer um, an evolutionary perspective um, uh, on cohesion policy with uh, many useful uh, lessons for the current program period and uh, even um, uh, beyond this uh, for what will be uh, going on after 2020. Given the time uh, constraints, I have uh, chosen to, to pick, uh, just, uh, uh, pick up just one uh, uh, of the many uh, powerful messages uh, I uh, have uh, uh, found uh, in uh, the two uh, uh, presentations uh, and um, uh, deliver some uh, comments uh, on them. In the first uh, presentation, reflect, uh, referring to the uh, assessment of uh, the long-term uh, uh, assessment uh, and uh, achievements uh, of the uh, cohesion policy, John Butler uh, uh, pointed out that uh, the need uh, to concentrate on um, relevance, uh, effectiveness, and uh, utility. Indeed, uh, these uh, three words uh, reflect the philosophy of uh, the whole uh, EU support uh, via uh, structural and uh, uh, cohesion uh, uh, funds. Uh, uh, because uh, they have a lot to do uh, uh, with uh, how was the money spent, uh, what uh, was achieved, and uh, uh, whether uh, this assistance uh, made uh, a difference uh, or uh, not. And uh, I would like to, to mention uh, here a remark uh, uh, of uh, the European uh, Commissioner for uh, Regional uh, uh, Policy um, uh, with uh, regard to, to this uh, uh, issue uh, delivered in uh, uh, Lisbon. Uh, 
uh, she um, uh, mentioned that uh, the um, uh, structural assistance uh, provided by uh, the European uh, Union really changed the face, face of many countries uh, of the European uh, Union. But when it comes to uh, economic growth, uh, when it comes to uh, regional convergence, uh, to uh, uh, changing, improving uh, the life of, of uh, people, the results uh, are beyond uh, expectations. And there are, of course, uh, many explanations uh, uh, for, for uh, this uh, situation, and uh, John Butler uh, has um, uh, provided uh, a, very, a very accurate uh, picture in uh, this um, uh, respect. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, when talking about uh, spending the EU uh, money, uh, of course, uh, the absorption issue uh, has uh, uh, always uh, come uh, in, uh, in, into discussion. And uh, Gregor Gorzelak launched a very challenging uh, question. Uh, it was uh, displayed uh, on uh, one of uh, his uh, slides. Uh, are we looking uh, for uh, uh, problems uh, uh, to spend money or uh, for the money to, to solve uh, uh, real um, uh, problems? Well, uh, the rate of absorption is important. By the results uh, as, um, uh, of uh, spending the EU money are of uh, of uh, at least uh, the same uh, importance. Uh, and um, uh, behind uh, the results, how we measure the results, uh, do uh, the employed um, uh, indicators uh, reflect uh, a uh, response uh, to a real uh, need? Do they reflect uh, a real uh, utility? And uh, in a broader uh, view, uh, does uh, the evaluation cover all um, uh, necessary uh, aspects? Uh, going uh, even further, John Butler uh, has uh, mentioned another very important uh, aspect of uh, uh, utility, uh, namely the difficulty to maintain the benefits in some cases after the uh, uh, funding is uh, decreasing. Uh, and uh, this uh, says uh, a lot uh, about uh, uh, the depths uh, of uh, uh, his uh, inquiry. And uh, now uh, about uh, Gregor uh, Gorzlak's uh, presentation, uh, I uh, have uh, selected the, the message transmitted uh, and uh, at uh, the end uh, um, of uh, his uh, presentation, uh, uh, which uh, says that uh, now we uh, should uh, see uh, the European uh, Union as uh, one single European uh, Union without the traditional division between uh, the um, uh, old and the new uh, member state. Uh, and uh, this uh, view is uh, supported by uh, the new architecture of the cohesion uh, policy, which uh, has largely uh, incorporated uh, the uh, uh, territorial uh, dimension uh, in um, uh, its um, uh, construction uh, and uh, supports the place-based uh, uh, approaches. So the diversity of uh, the European uh, territory requires diversified solutions. Uh, and uh, in the case of uh, East uh, European uh, countries, They still have um, a lot to do, as uh, both uh, presenters uh, uh, mentioned, uh, with um, uh, infrastructure, with the continuation of the administrative and uh, institutional reforms uh, too much uh, delayed uh, after um, the accession uh, to uh, the European uh, Union. But uh, uh, even um, this um, issue of uh, infrastructure should be seen in a totally new light. Uh, and uh, as the European Commissioner said, we shouldn't transform it into an obsession, the obsession with uh, infrastructure, because the, the in, uh, infrastructure is just one of the development uh, factors in a more complex approach, in a more uh, in a systemic approach that should uh, consider the other development uh, factors too, uh, so as to, to create uh, the mm, uh, so-called um, synergetic uh, effects uh, so much uh, uh, desired. And uh, such effects are envisaged in the current uh, uh, program period by the smart uh, specialization uh, related strategies aiming to uh, identify uh, uh, and uh, to turn to good account uh, the assets, uh, the competitive advantages of each country and region in relation to uh, knowledge-based uh, uh, investments. 
And uh, I quote uh, again the European Commissioner for uh, Regional Policy, not uh, every region uh, uh, should uh, become a Silicon Valley. But uh, each uh, region has its own strengths, uh, products to, to compete nationally and uh, uh, internationally. So uh, this uh, idea of uh, smart uh, uh, speciali uh, specialization should be uh, uh, considered in a very flexible way. What is new in 2014-2020 with smart uh, specialization is that uh, re uh, research and uh, innovation um, uh, strategies uh, have become an ex ante conditionality, making a big step forward comparing to the previous uh, declarations of uh, good intentions uh, about uh, uh, the increasing of the cooperation between uh, university uh, um, uh, research, uh, academia in general, and and the industry and uh, contributing to uh, increasing credibility of regional policy in uh, this uh, uh, way. Well, in general terms, um, uh, initiatives like uh, smart specialization and uh, result uh, orientation of the policy options are expected to, to contribute to, to the success of uh, cohesion policy, of regional policy as a uh, uh, powerful investment uh, policy in the current um, uh, program period and uh, beyond. Uh, I stop uh, here um, uh, renewing my uh, congratulations uh, to the two uh, speakers and uh, uh, it has been a pleasure to, to be here and thank you all uh, for uh, coming. Thank you.